Hey there, Virgos. Thank you for stopping by here on Teas Tarot. We're going to do a really quick reading for you. I won't take too much of your time. Uh, we're going to look at career, love, finance for you this week. It is May 14th, so till the 21st. And what to focus on this week. And we're going to be drawing from your animal spirit guides as well. Uh, I want to say happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful moms out there. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, also to the fur baby moms, we love you and we see you. And also to all of the women out there who are so nurturing, so loving and kind. Um, you know, we love you as well. Happy Mother's Day to all. Um, so we're going to dive right into your energy with the Universal Weight Tarot deck. Um, for you looking first at your career. Okay. Everything you need to know about my channel is in the description box below. So please read that. There's ways to win prizes, um, uh, how to get in touch with me for private readings. Um, if you wanted to donate to the channel, um, you know, uh, there's ways to do that too. Everything's in the description box below. We're here to read for you and your energy Virgo. Um, Virgos, um, for me are beautiful, beautiful people. We both have Mercury as a ruler. So we have a lot of energy, um, that's the same in terms of Mercury being a rule ruler. And as Mercury retrograde is leaving us now, fellow Mercury retrograde planet rulers, I'm so excited. And I want to say happy, happy Mercury retrograde leaving us day to you all fellow Virgos. Okay. So also I've known uh, quite a few Virgos in my life. Both have been amazing people. And also one of my best friends um, is a Virgo as well. I've worked with Virgos, great people. Um, anyway, I love all signs though. All right. And so anyways, um, okay. So we're going to get into your career. Okay. So this has been a lot of different energy for every sign. It's been totally different from one reading to the next, a lot of different energies coming in. Just let you know, I am feeling a different vibe in the air right now for some reason, just something different. Maybe it is because Mercury retrograde is the shadow period now, just a different vibe. So anyways, that's what you get here on Tea's Tarot. Um, anyway, spilling the tea on about your career for Virgo. What's happening with thank you, their career this week? Um, for May 14th going forward. Okay, we have the first card that fell out would be um, the devil. So maybe... In terms of your career, there could be temptations to overwork yourself. I know Virgos are hard, hard workers. Okay, they're the earth sign. So they're wanting to finish tasks on time, be a leader. Um, you know, they're great um, when you have a Virgo on your team. They take charge. They're very driven. Okay, all in, all in good. Okay, that's all good. Um, oftentimes you find a Virgo overworking themselves. Okay. Um, overdoing it. So overexpending their energy. Sometimes they don't know when to quit. They're very, very tenacious. Okay. So possibly that has something to do with why the devil showed up, maybe working too hard, overworking yourself, the temptation to, you know, work until the wee hours of the night. We also have the fool here for you. Okay, so that is a new adventure, starting something to something new, having the courage to take a leap of faith. So just be wary of any temptations in terms of when the devil shows up. It's just to show us that there's choices to be made um, and we want to choose healthy choices. So that's when the devil shows up saying, OK, we need to do something healthy within this um, energy. OK. So that is your career. So maybe something, starting something new, uh, maybe a new project, something totally different, taking a leap of faith in a new direction. Um, and yes, they're saying, the angels are saying, yeah, go for that. But just be mindful of your energy, okay? And that you're not doing too much. You're not overworking yourself. You're able to create a healthy balance. In terms of love for Virgo,
for Virgo for love for May 14th, going into 2023, of course, um, May 21st, I meant to say. Um, for love, can we have a card for love for their energy, for Virgo's energy for May 14th? Till the 21st, 2023, for Virgo. Two more shuffles, one and two. So your love energy. I will clarify if I feel the need to do so. Your love energy. You're celebrating love this week. Okay, so coming in, uh, celebrating love, maybe off on a new journey, okay, in terms of your career. And then you're celebrating the success um, within that. Okay, love also can sometimes mean a third party. Not always, um, but for some, that is what it could mean. Though I feel no, um, with this energy, it's celebrating your success. Uh, with the fool's journey, a new adventure, starting something new, okay? It also could be signifying um, with an angel message saying, time to go out and celebrate. You're working too hard. Make sure that you do take time for yourself to celebrate moments of success, achievement, um, you know, achieving your goals. And we're going to look at your finances for this week for Virgo. Thank you. Too many, thank you. For Virgo, uh, finances for the week of May 14th till the 21st. Finances for Virgo. For Virgo. Two more shuffles, one and two. For your finance, we have Page of Cups. Okay, so there could be a, an offer, a message, um, one of love from someone you know or someone you, you're just meeting. And they're wanting to offer you something in terms of finance, but it's something that you will love. Okay. So it could be a message um, of love um, from someone you love to do with finance. So maybe there's a message from your partner and they want to take you out on a date, something like that. Um, or it could be just your partner maybe um, has good news to share with you about their finances, which would, of course, um, also help with you with finances. Um, it's an offer. It's a message. It's a loving offer. It's kind, generous. So it's a generous offer, something to do with finance, you or your partner. Okay. And I'm going to clarify um, the fool here. Clarifying the full. So it's a it's good news, okay? Something to do with finance in terms of and it and it comes off as loving energy. So loving ar energy around your finances for this week. Okay, why is the fool here? I'm just curious about this fool with the um with the devil that showed up. Thank you. So so yeah, King of Cups, your career. So it is, you are moving on to something new, some of the Virgos out there, okay, something exciting, something that you will very much love, okay, this could be a passion project, this could be um, something that is um, uh, something that you love to do, okay, so you're moving towards something um, or someone in terms of your career. So this could be a new boss who's offered you this amazing position and you're excited about it. Make sure you don't overwork yourself. This could be um, a labor of love as well with this new adventure. Okay. It's going to bring you to a lot of success and a lot of celebrations. Okay. A lot of celebrations in terms of your new adventure that you're going off on with the fool. It takes a lot of courage to go off on a new journey. So please do celebrate that. 
Okay, and I'm going to um, clarify the page of cups for your finance. A loving offer, a loving message, something to do with finance. Or Virgos. Page of cups clarifying. And then we're going to um, pull a card from the tarot here of what to focus on this week. And also message from your animal spirit guides. So why is the page of cups here? For Virgo. Two more shuffles. One and So if you like my energy, if you're, the readings are resonating, please smash that like button. It really helps my channel grow. It puts your energy into the channel. And when you subscribe, um, all the information is below, but you're entered into an automatic prize draw. So yeah, it is a loving offer um, coming from a page. Okay, so it's new. I feel like it's a new offer, something that's just beginning. And you have the Three of Pentacles, which is clarifying the page of cups. So it's coming from a page. It's something new, just starting, just beginning, off on this fool's journey, starting on a team. This is going to be successful. Um, so if you're wondering, yes, no, should I, shouldn't I? Yes, it will be successful. It will create security. It will be a strong offer, um, but it's just in the beginning stages. And we're going to see here what to focus on this week. That's a lot to focus on actually already. But what to focus on this week for Virgo. And yeah, you're asked to be part on the, part of the team. Comes from a page, so maybe um, you know this is just something that's brand new for you and this team, starting fresh. And you will love what you're doing with the King of Cups. Um, you will love this offer. Okay, you're gonna love um, what you're gonna be doing in terms of career and finance. Okay, and what to focus on this week? What should, I feel like saying shall, what shall, what shall Virgo focus on this week? What shall they focus on this week? For May 14th to the 21st. More shuffles, one and two. Focusing your energy on, okay, uh, fairness, equality, uh, reci reciprocity, said it, reciprocity, okay, making sure things are fair and balanced, that is your focus, okay, so when they, someone does approach you, and they will, for some of the Virgos out there, with a very um, fresh, new offer, one that's very creative, this is very intuitive, creative um, a lot of insight, okay, very loving, and a nurturing project, um, a nurturing team environment. Your job is to make sure that you are receiving um, what you should be receiving, that it's fair and balanced. The ebb and flow of what you're receiving in this project in terms of coin, pence, money, is given out equally, fair, balanced for everybody, okay? So that there's enough to go around, that you're not overextending yourself, overworking yourself with the with the devil, and not getting anything in return, okay? We're going to run out of steam if we do that. So as Virgos know that, um, because they're very tenacious, hardworking, sometimes they tend to overwork, making sure that your energy is even balanced in that what you're giving and receiving towards this team that offers security and structure and longevity in terms of a partnership to create um, wealth. Okay, it's a fresh new beginning. Will it be balanced? Your job is to make sure that it is balanced between all parties and to focus on that. Okay, if anything, in terms of your new adventure with the Fool, focus on the equality, the reciprocity between all team members um, so that it's fair and balanced, okay, because there should be enough to go around for everybody. And so that is what you are asked to be focusing on this week as you start your new journey. Very exciting one. And what you don't see at the bottom of the deck is Queen of Wands. So 
either someone of your on your team is highly passionate, very driven, offers you that same excitement in terms of this new partnership, or you are so passionate and driven as well as you go up onto your fool's journey. Very passionate, very driven. You will achieve success. She does not, she's very stubborn, this queen. She always achieves what she puts out there. She always achieves her goals. She knows how to do it and she knows how to do it right. She's very correct in her ways of how she um, goes after what she desires. Okay. And she knows how to do that. So that is your energy for this week. Very good. We're going to get into your angel spirit, animal spirit guides. A few cards flipped out for you. We have for you, Virgo, zebra. So we have let go of your fear and know that you are safe and protected at all times. All right. Walrus. Well, I said it really weird. <laughs> Walrus. Um, remain vigilant about the current situation. Pay attention to signs and omens and let them dictate your choices. Okay. And we have Gemini got this card as well. I'm not sure if I'm saying it correctly. I'm sorry if I'm not. Uh, grouse or Bruce. Uh, express yourself through rhythm and movement and drumming and dancing. Okay, so this could be a creative project as well. So congratulations on your success. Um, looks like a lot of exciting things happening for you on your new adventure this week. For those uh, Virgos who are celebrating, make sure you take time out to celebrate your success. Have a wonderful week here. Thanks for stopping by to Tease Tarot. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate all of uh, the subscribers. It's been at an all-time high uh, this month, and I do appreciate everyone here that views the channel even. And I will see you next time, Virgos. Have a wonderful, wonderful week ahead.